Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, just wanted to revisit something that uh, some of you might have forgotten and also at the same time I had a question today because somebody said isn't there a way to run a virtual copy of Windows 10 within Windows 10 and uh, that person has the pro version of Windows 10 and he was searching a way to activate this so yes there's something called Windows Sandbox and I'll show you how to activate it and also talk about why it's a cool feature that should actually uh, be uh, be used sometimes and uh, you know part of it has to do with security and the other part is you know just to test out stuff so first of all um, you need to have a laptop that is capable of virtualization that is enabled in the CPU so often, if it doesn't work, you might need to check out the uh, BIOS or the UEFI firmware to make sure that uh, that feature exists in your computer and is enabled. Uh, virtualization on processors has been something that exists for a while now. My uh, seven-year-old uh, Toshiba has it, so um, that's the first thing you need. Uh, all really old PCs probably won't have it and if they do they're probably gonna run it real slow because it is um, demanding on system resources the um, second thing is you need to have at least the pro version of Windows 10 or enterprise uh, because the home version unfortunately does not include the Windows sandbox mode which is sad it should have been part of every version I think but it is something that is mostly uh, pro or enterprise so that's also something you need to know if you don't know which version you have you can check it out with the Winver version it's gonna tell you that you're running Windows 10 Pro uh, so that's one thing to check it out so you can go and uh, click and say Winver issue that command and you'll see uh, here I'm running a built version but uh, usually you'll see Windows 10 uh, Pro um, appear on the uh, computer. Um, you can go about to the about page also of Windows is going to tell you. So here I am running the uh, Pro version of Windows 10. What you'll need to do after that is go into the control panel and or not necessarily you can go into the settings so let's do it through settings here. Go into settings go into apps and uh, you can go into the related settings of programs and features because you'll have to turn on uh, or off a Windows feature on the left side of this panel that is in the control panel of course go down the list and you'll have to put a check mark in front of Windows sandbox click OK and it's going to actually get files and install the feature it'll ask you to restart your PC once it's restart, you'll be able to actually run Sandbox by simply typing Windows Sandbox in the search, or just Sandbox. It's going to show you this. And it's going to start a virtual version of Windows 10, like you see here, possibly. Um, I don't know if you have seen it, because I'm wondering if the GPU of my machine might actually be preventing this. Uh, but what you see here is uh, another Windows running within Windows. And what's nice with it uh, is because it is isolated from everything else, it cannot actually interact with your main Windows. That means if you want to test software that might make your computer crash, if you want to test something that is risky, this is the place to do it because you'll be able to test out whatever you want and make sure that, for example, it doesn't have any viruses or anything on malware of some sort. What you do in there is automatically gone once you shut down the session, which means that this temporary Windows box will work as if it's its own computer. And once you actually shut it down, it is as if every time you start it up, it's like a uh, complete restart of, um, of Windows. So it's like a complete reinstall, actually, of Windows, a clean install every time. So every single time you have an exact same copy of Windows running. That also is great for testing software because, you know, the environment is always the same. 
So for those that were asking and were wondering, this is uh, a great a little thing. But once again, only on Pro and Enterprise uh, for the Windows Sandbox mode. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.